Hey, what's up, dudes? It's Mac the Snapper. Climbing up out of my little mud puddle once again to bring you another Reddit story. So yeah, this one is from r slash infidelity. And they say, my significant other is currently cheating right now. Don't know what to do. Hi, y'all. Need to tell my story because it's 5 a.m. and everyone I know is asleep and I am losing my mind right now. We've been together for 10 years and I have never questioned that she would cheat on me or anything of the sort. How I know she is cheating. To start out the day, she told me that she was going out with her good friend to a beer festival for 2 p.m. I started my shift at work at 1 p.m. and usually finish around midnight. We were sparsely texting each other during and she had forgotten that she had shared her location with me a few weeks prior and never shut it off. Just for safety reasons, if she didn't respond to a text, I would check her location and see and see and she was at the beer festival. Work got busy and when I checked around 10 p.m. she was at an unknown location to me. I assumed she went to a bar after the festival. I told her when I was done, I could pick her up and drive her home, which she agreed on. At 12.15, she was not responding to my texts, but still at the bar. I tried calling, no response. So my initial reaction is, I'll drive to the general area and see if I can find her at one of the bars. First bar, I find... First bar, I find has a giant window, and I see her straddling a man I do not know with the guy's hands around her neck as you would if you were kissing. I did not see her kiss him, but I knocked on the window and was Im- and she immediately looked super guilty and knew she was caught doing something wrong. I texted her to come out and we can go home. At this point, all... At this point, all could be somewhat explained if forgiven as drunk people do stupid things. That can... No. I'm going to stop right there. That cannot be explained or forgiven. That is still betrayal. You should... For one, you shouldn't be letting your woman going out and getting drunk in public with dudes all around when you're at work. I mean, you can trust some, but no. You can never trust one that much, especially not in today's world. Yeah, no, I could go on and on and on, but there's so many reasons why you do not allow this to happen. This situation cannot be allowed to take place. You really should not let... You, if you're married, do not let your woman go in public with other Western humans. Not a good idea. That's how things like this happen. Uh, she said in one sec she would come out. The bouncers told me I couldn't go in due to my track pants, even after telling them that my GF was in there. Okay, so it's just his girlfriend. I was thinking it was his wife. I don't know why. She kept sitting there talking, and I told her that we can talk about this later and just to come home. She declines, saying, go home, I'll be fine. I'm with my friend. I text her, you're making this look 10 times worse than it is. She says, go home, I'll be fine. And how did you find me? The manager of the place comes out and says, she's been in there for 90 minutes and these two guys, with these two guys, and that she doesn't want me breaking anything, which I respond, I just want to take her home and make sure she's safe. My GF doesn't come home for about 30 minutes, which I'm texting her with to no response. I get I get cold as it's negative 8 and decide to drive home as I realize my relationship is probably over. I mean, I hope so, bro. I'd hope so. What the hell? After I get home and the bar closes at 3 a.m., I see her get into an Uber and go completely the wrong direction from our house from the bar. I get, I text her one last time asking, where the fuck are you going? 
She turns off sharing location and says, I'll be home. No further response. Wow. Honestly, don't even know what to do right now. My heart is racing and I can't sleep. Ten whole years just gone and tossed in the garbage. Oh my god. That, that is rough. Ten years that you wasted on a literal harlot. Good job. I mean, how could you not see this beforehand? Like, really, ten years and you don't know who this woman is? Shit, I know who most women are after, like, three minutes, bro. It's... Wow. See, this is why everyone should just study just a little bit of psychology and how to read humans and how to read faces and, like, how to put things together. Like, I mean, I understand not, not everyone is that intelligent, but 10 years just to be cheated on is not good. Bruh. Bruh. Dude. Oh, man. Yeah, that, that that's that's harsh, bro. I don't think there's an update yet. I mean, this was only posted three days ago. Oh, uh, what's this guy say? What you do is pack her things and put it in the front door. Nope, uh, not by the front door. Uh, uh, throw it out in the street, bro. She could pick it up. Don't even put it in bags. Just right out the window. Boom. Hopefully it's raining. At th- oh, it's cold, so yeah, it'll be frozen. I'd say soak it down with some water, too. Uh, yeah, put some, like, all her clothes and stuff. Put them out on the sidewalk and just get them nice and nice and hard and wet. And just let them freeze. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. Watch her try to scrape them up with a shovel. Or just come back in the spring. <laughs> yeah. Oh, just really, honestly, just who gives a shit if she, like, just throw it in the dumpster, bro. She can go dumpster diving for it. Take her stuff and turn around and go back to where she came from. It's harder to get walked over when you're standing up, brother, yeah? She knows she's caught and probably went home with the guy. Yep. What is there to be confused about? She's a liar and a cheater, as are most Western women. This is probably the first time you caught her, but by no means her first rodeo. Yeah, absolutely. Dude, she's been doing this for the past nine, eight, for the entire time. I guarantee it. Yep, this is what happens when you date non-virgins. And she's probably, you know, I don't think he put the ages in there. But I bet you she's older and experienced because these fucking idiots out here are like, I want an experienced woman. No, you want to be cheated on, you dumb fuck. Like what the hell is wrong with you? You think you would? You think people would learn by now that a hoe's gonna hoe? Like it's not that difficult, but it's. This is probably the first time she was caught. But yeah, uh, the disrespect to tell you to leave her after being caught and still go home with the guy is something I would never forgive, and this should you. Real. Yep, uh, man. Right, it's agreeing. She'll wake up hungover, devise some ridiculous story of how she didn't cheat, of course. Uh, The pain of all this will make you want to go away by just accepting the story. Please don't do that. Don't avoid short-term pain, as it will lead to long-term pain, which is worse. Yeah, and also, once an ex, always an ex. The amount of guys I've had to tell that to... It's like, you know, I'm thinking about getting back with my ex. You fucking retard. No. Do not ever get back with an ex for any reason. It does not matter. If you broke up, it was for a reason, and that reason will always be there. I think I'm going I'll, to... I'll, I'll, I'll follow this, uh, this one, and uh, we will... I'll see if I can do an update if he... If he uh, does an update. I don't know. Yep. Anyway, I mean, I need to find something else to do besides Reddit stories. Because I never really know what you're going to get. Like a box of chocolates. Uh. Yeah. Alright, fam. We'll talk to you later. Peace.